Hey guys, it's Ian. It's also December. You know what that means? Hi. Finals week. And today I'm going to be talking about the things that you shouldn't be doing during finals week that you're probably going to be doing anyways. God, I love this week. <laughs> Procrastination. You come home from a long day at school. The first thing that pops in your mind isn't homework. You don't go home and just start your homework right away. You put everything to the side. You, want to do it, you do everything that's not homework. But how do you stop procrastinating? Easy. Here's what you do. Basically, you come home from school, you jot your books on the ground, you look at it and wonder if you should do it, and then you decide you should do it, but then you don't do it because you have second thoughts about doing it, and then you decide to look at it for long periods of time, basically having a staring contest with it, before it finally comes to a decision that you don't want to do it and you'll do it later. Yeah. I, I still haven't figured it out. I still procrastinate a lot. Getting sidetracked. If you're anything like me, you have the smallest attention span known to humankind. You get sidetracked to the smallest things. A call from my mom, a fly, a taquito. Hmm. Yeah. I kind of get distracted by food pretty easily. I know I'm not the only one. I have a really small attention span. I cannot focus on one thing for a long period of time. Especially when it comes to being in class, I cannot focus at all. My mind always wanders somewhere else. What did I do today in math? Huh, I wonder if the reason why I'm really bad grade in math is because of my short attention span. Class is done. But, back to the point. After thinking about it for some time, I, I started to realize. Maybe it's because I don't want to do my homework. I try to use everything I get distracted by as an excuse to not do it, you know? Lack of sleep. Finals week is one of the worst weeks during the school year. Everything goes down. It starts from GPA, bank accounts, motivation. You know what else goes down? My hours of sleep. According to my trusted research on CFA.org, only about 8% of high schoolers get a good amount of sleep. That's about 1.8 million out of 19 million kids getting good hours of sleep. More kids are getting sleep deprived than kids getting a good amount of sleep. You see the problem in that? Back to the point. Kids who are sleep deprived have a higher chance of coming home from school and taking a nap. Once you check the time and see that you have time to take a nap and fall asleep, you're going to wake up months later in a different place, different clothes, and not know where you are and find out that it's December and wonder why nobody woke you up when September ended. I did not just use Green Day as a reference. Or did I? In all honesty, guys, getting sidetracked, losing track of what you want to do, what you need to do, what you have to do, what you gotta do, what you really, really want to do. Sorry, back to the point. Finals week, there's a reason why your teachers make a big deal out of it. It's pretty important. It affects a huge part of your grade. That huge grade could affect your future. Setting priorities, that's important. Hopefully something good will come out of it. I'm Ian, and I'll see you next time.